Hello, disciples. The prophet Zephaniah writes, The Lord your God is in your midst. It is Christmas. And so now God has broken through the heavens and come as a child to be in our midst. God has taken the form of humanity to reveal God's self through Jesus. From the centuries of longing for a deliverer to the realities of this messy story that still defies explanation, we are left with the reality of God incarnate, a gentle, loving, powerful, even radical advocate, a teacher, a prophet, who disrupts systems and calls people forth into new ways of loving, new ways of communing with God, coming first as a child. And as he grew and as he teaches, there are many for whom his presence and ministry were threats to systems that have given them platform and power, many perhaps for too long. God is in our midst surrounding us with love and peace. We are challenged to love one another as Jesus has loved us, even as we are challenged to truly love ourselves. Oh, how we want to be renewed, how we need the living waters of hope, peace, love, and joy. And in the midst of such love and presence, we walk boldly into the vision that God has for us, the vision to which God calls as we imagine a new world, reminding us of God's limitless love and empowering us to serve and shape a new world. The kingdom of God must yet arise to proclaim the good news even in the midst of a pandemic. And we must deliver those who are poor, set free those who are captive, heal and bind up those who are broken and brokenhearted. There is so much for us to learn, so much God has to teach us still. This Christmas, may we all embrace this infant who comes to show us the way to love. God has broken through to us. We must embrace Emmanuel, for Jesus is God with us, giving us courage to imagine, to do, to love, to minister, to change and move beyond our fears, to edify and to build, to inspire and embrace all of creation. The Lord your God is in your midst. Jesus is born. Alleluia and amen. Merry Christmas, disciples.